Comparing wages and salaries. So let's look at some vocabula vocabulary that we need for this lesson. Wage. Wage is a fixed, doesn't change, regular payment that usually paid daily or weekly. Daily means once a day, weekly means once a week. That example would be Joey's paid $700 a week as a construction worker. Salary is a fixed, which doesn't change, regular payment that's usually paid twice a month or monthly, which means once a month. Example, Aaron is paid $4,000 a month as an elementary school teacher. A median salary is the salary in the middle of all the salaries for that job. Some people may make more, some people may make less. So for example, if we took all the salaries of every single doctor in the United States and lined them up from least to greatest, the one in the middle would be the median salary. Annual is equivalent to one year. So when you see the word annual, that means we're talking about one year. So let's look at the table below. These are the median incomes for three professions. Fill in the missing values of the table. In order to fill in the missing values, we have to figure out how to get from one value to the next. So if we're looking at annual and we're going to weekly, we would divide by 52 weeks because there are 52 weeks in a year, so we're getting smaller. If we go from weekly to hourly, we would divide by 40 hours because once again we're getting smaller and there's typically a 40 hour work week for a full time employee. Now if we're going the other direction, hour, hourly to weekly, we would multiply by 40 hours because we're getting larger, we're getting more days that we're being paid. And then if we go from weekly to annually, which are weekly to the annual salary, that would be multiplied by 52 weeks because typically there's 52 weeks in a year. All right, so let's move on to fill in these values of the table using this strategy right here. So we're going to start with our customer service representative. We're going to go from annual to weekly. We divide by 52 and that's 570. Now I'm going to go from weekly to hourly by dividing by 40 and that's $14.25. Now let's work with the medical secretary. Now I'm going to go from weekly, sorry, I'm going to go from hourly to the weekly. I'm going to multiply by 40 and I get 588. Now I'm going to go from weekly to the annual, which is one year, and I multiply by 52 and I get 30,576. Now let's work with the paramedic. We're going to go from this one, we're going to go both directions. So we're going to go from weekly to hourly, that's dividing by 40, so it's $15.20. Now I'm going to go from weekly to the annual, which remember is one year, I'm going to multiply by 52 weeks, and I get 31616 Now what you can see here is they're all in the same form. These are all the hourly wages, weekly wages, and the, and the annual salary here. So now that they're all in the same form, we can go ahead and compare using a few different questions. Order the weekly wages from least to greatest. So that's smallest to largest. So we're just looking at the weekly, and it looks like they're already ordered for me. So 570, 588, and 608. Now, which occupation makes the most money? In order to compare, you have to stay in one of the columns. Doesn't matter which one you use, as long as you are in one column because they're all in the same form. All hourly here, all weekly here, all annual here. So as you can see, it doesn't matter which column you're in, the paramedic always makes more than the others. So he, he or she makes the most money. How much more would a paramedic make than a medical secretary over 30 years? I see the word years. Remember I said annual means one year. So I'm looking at these salaries here because this is the one year salary. It says how much more. That means to subtract. So the very first thing I'm going to do is subtract the smaller salary from the larger salary to find how much more the paramedic makes annually. That means one year. So I took these two and subtracted, and I got $1,040. Now it says I want over 30 years. So now that I have one year, I can get 30 years by multiplying that difference by 30. And when I do that, I get 31,200. There's another way you can do this question. You can multiply each salary, or each annual salary by 30 years, and subtract. Doesn't matter which way, as long as you get the, that difference and that multiplication in there. All right, let's look at one more question. It says, how many more years, how many more additional years, sorry about the typo, does a teacher have to work to earn what the accountant earns in 20 years? Well, this one's a little tricky. We've got a lot of different steps here. So here we go. We're looking at the accountant's salary, which is the annual, that means one year, 
and the teachers. Now we want to figure out how much, how many years the teacher needs to work basically in order to earn the same amount that the accountant earns in 20 years. So I can get what the accountant earns in 20 years by taking that annual salary and multiplying it by 20. So that's step one. Step two is I need to divide the accountant's 20 year salary by the one year salary of the teacher. That gets me how many years the teacher needs to work in order to earn that same amount of money. So the teacher has to work about 29 years because it's 28.85 and there's some more decimals after that. So if we round that, it's 29 years. So the last step to get those additional years is to subtract the amount of years the teacher has to work minus what the um, accountant has to work and we get nine years. So the teacher needs to work nine more years to reach the same salary as an accountant who works 20 years. And that is comparing wages and salaries.